the channel. Today we are doing errands, shopping, we have lots of coupons to use, lots of stores to go to. It's Vlogmas, come along with us. That's it for BJ's. Back at Joanne Fabrics. Might as well get another blanket while they're on super clearance. So Will and I were just talking and he said all he wants for Christmas is for us to not celebrate Christmas next year. So we are that couple that is very opposite in thinking when it comes to Christmas. However, like I said, I believe in yesterday or the day before his video, I said he definitely keeps me more grounded. But he had mentioned how, you know, you do all this work and spend all this money to give somebody a gift that you only see once a year at Christmas. And he's right. Like, you know, families just don't they're not around each other like they used to be. We used to spend all our time with family and now it's like, it's like family's almost treated as an inconvenience. So the way I feel is that family is too, used to be unreachable. Like you had to go to people's house to talk to them. Mm -hmm. Now you got this thing. Right. That you have on your all the time. Mm -hmm. like, you can call somebody you want to drive down the road. You couldn't do that before. Mm -hmm. now, you, now you can. So you think... They took the in-person out of person. Yeah. Out of people, that's what I mean. They took the in-person out of people. Mm -hmm. So now you can just, oh, I'll video chat them, whatever. Right, and it's like you're hanging out with them. Mm -hmm. But you're not. Yeah, you're right. It's unfortunate. Yeah, we were walking out of BJ's and the guy goes, Merry Christmas. So I, of course, say, Merry Christmas. And as he walked away, he's like, Bah, humbug. He does not like it. And that's okay. I said, he keeps me grounded because I would probably go way above and beyond more than I do now. And he tells me not to. He's like, why are you buying for certain people who you don't even see, you don't even talk to? I think this is a good point. So, I mentioned this before. It's not about the presents that are under the tree, but who is present still around the tree. Nobody wants to be present unless there is a tree. So. You mean nobody wants to be present unless there are presents? Said nobody wants to be present unless there is a tree. Mm -hmm. So that means, that means nobody wants to be present unless it's freaking Christmas. Right. That's what I said. Even though we only see some of these people at Christmas, at least Christmas is bringing us together. So at least there's that. And then as for the rest of the year. And then everybody wants Christmas or Christmas Eve. Like, yeah, you can go see everybody on that one day. I'm not Santa Claus. I can't do it all. I mean, I look like I'm not. You do look like Santa Claus. Yeah, so that's the issue that we have. Like, his mom always does Christmas Eve. Well, now the family has just gotten so big that other people, everybody has extended families, and then other families have their traditions. So it's hard, and nobody wants to go to three, four different places in one night. And most people's parents are divorced. Like, we've never seen your dad on Christmas. We never, ever got to see my family on Christmas until last year. And then we felt like we were doing something wrong because we weren't seeing his mom on Christmas. So it's, it's hard to please everybody. So I would like, I think it makes more sense to do like we did with my mom last year. We did our Christmas a week or two before. And that way, the, the actual days are freed up to go spend with whoever. Like, it doesn't have to be on that day. You can still spend time with your family on other days. But it's hard to keep everybody's feelings from being hurt when you have so many families. And his parents have been divorced since he was four. So he 
both have significant others now. And so it's what used to be, you would just go and spend one Christmas with them. Now you have to split your time with all these other families and it's hard. It's very hard. And you have five kids and they all have significant others and they all have other families. So it's impossible to get everybody together and to keep everybody happy. And, then, and then some of them don't talk to each other, which I have no reason. They have no... I don't know the reason, and I don't think they even have a reason, but not a good reason, at least. But hey, you know, they're going to do what they want to do. They're adults. They can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always something. Mm -hmm. So that's why we came up with the rule, no presence unless we are present. So even if I don't see... We have how many nieces and nephews between us? A lot. So, no presents unless we are present. That's the rule. Sticking to it. 